So we got our chickens over here this morning. They're working through some more hay mulch. We actually, this area between the trees, we had some burned out patches where the chickens had scratched and clawed, scratched, got it right down to bare soil, and so it wasn't doing much. So just over here is where we initially laid that hay mulch. And you can see that's all come up and seeded nice. The chickens worked through the mulch. They ate all their feed up. They ate a lot of the grass actually. And then whatever they didn't eat, all the seeds and stuff, they tilled into the ground and now this has come up really nice, nice and green. So we're just gonna continue that project on through here. You can see lots of it's already working. They can process this all down and then we can just manage with the lawnmower to keep this nice, uh, nice grass down to a manageable level. And so this is gonna work fantastic for uh, not only soil erosion, but actual like weed management as well. We had tons of mayweed through here. It was just really difficult to manage. And tough to mow through that stuff without spreading a bunch of seeds. And so we we're trying to pick lots of it and really concerned about trying to spray in areas where, you know, the chickens and the dogs and everything, they, they spend their day to day. So we definitely want to keep the chemicals down in this area. So if we can choke it out with good grass, that's fantastic. Well, there's some sad news from the chicken coop this morning. I just went in to fetch the eggs and uh, top up their water. Unfortunately found a dead chicken in there. The chicken house can be a cruel and violent place, unfortunately, while the birds are figuring out the pecking order. And I don't know if this girl got on the wrong side of the boss hen or what happened there, or if the rooster took a run at her, but anyways, sad day, one chicken down. Almost done fencing the sheep pasture. Looks like mama bear's over there putting chicks in the chicken tractor. Let's go check in with her. Thank you. Charlotte. Charlotte. Are you helping? Thank you. Put your fingers down in there. <laughs> Come here, Charlotte. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Come here, Let's open it up. Put this one over here. Mm -hmm. This one's a big one. Wanna <laughs> see this one? Put that one out here. Last one. Let's 
close it up. Thank you. Thank you. No snacks in there. All right, well, the sheep fence is done, so that's one project out of the way. Uh, remember last week, I cleaned up all the wood where the mouse miracle garden is right now, put it all in the horse trailer, completely forgot about it. We need that horse trailer here next week. So we're gonna run to the dump here this afternoon, get rid of all that wood, get that horse trailer cleaned out. Charlotte, who's that? Who's that? that Is that your Charlotte Donkey problems What happened to your Hmm what happened Are you stuck Are you stuck? You are. What are you doing? Let's go. What's 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 going on, bud? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Donkey problems. It wasn't supposed to rain today. But I guess plans change. Well, I think the uh, I think the rain gauge here has crossed the Rainbow Bridge. We had rain all day yesterday and a couple of big showers here today, and this thing's got like a couple drops in the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that thing cannot be accurate. There's just there's just no way. Well, I tell you, I don't know what to make it today. Five minutes ago it was just pouring rain. Now it's sunshine. I'm sweating like a dog. It's real mosquito hatching weather out here this afternoon. Man, I hope Carmen gets back soon. She uh, she just went off to Riverbend, the golf course there, pick up supper. So we're gonna have Southern fried chicken tonight. Hopefully she's figuring out the recipe. Here, once those little chickens in our chicken tractor grow up, we can make our own. Might have to rig up a drive-through over here by the garden shed, run an Albright fried chicken. Might be a money maker, you never know. Well, overall, I'd say that was a pretty grand day. Seems like a good time to go inside, get myself a cup of tea. So I hope you have a fantastic night. We'll see you tomorrow.